morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you Ooh, And welcome back to the beta plan as we are in the camp of the lumberjacks who, by the way, made just lovely Monty Python reference at the end. 5,000 years in three months? My ass. Impossible. Even working nights. Schedules, schmedules, cursed trees will soon tether themselves to trees. Oh, well, that's unfortunately no, don't do it anymore. They were talking about hanging around in bars and cross-dressing. And that is, of course, a reference to the Monty Python song. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I work all night and I sleep all day. Now, I couldn't, of course, hum the whole entire tune, but I wouldn't want to deprive you from the excellent delivery they have as a group. Because, well, you kind of need to have a partner in order to sing that, otherwise the reaction is uh, lost. Because, uh, well, the lumberjacks there, they make, uh, they make some odd references to what, what they like doing. And, uh, well, the Mounties, the Canadian Mounties that stand there and react to the lumberjack. Well, the, that reaction is what it's all about. So that's excellent humor delivery. Hello. Huge we trees, strange symbols, tamed beasts, even a dryad. This must be the druid's group. Your medallion senses magic. Oh, no wonder it quivered. We're near a place of power. Tell me about places of power. Uh, roam the world, you'll happen upon them occasionally. Ordinary folk won't sense them, but those versed in magic draw energy from places of power. Yes, indeed we do, but we weren't capable of doing much about it, so that's why I'm asking him. How can I draw power? Uh, you need to be trained, like sorcerers are, for instance. Druids also have their ways. I'm surprised you ask. Well, certainly you were trained to draw power? What besides training would I need to absorb power? Well, you mentioned your medallion, so I presume you're no sorcerer. You employ simple tricks instead of practicing the art, hmm? And the medallion should help you. That's it. Well, mages, ecologists, and druids dispute the nature of places of power. They disagree about energy's renewability, nature's corruption. Some say the power is depleted and must be conserved. Others claim sorcerers have earned the privilege to absorb it and find nature's balance to be a mere catchphrase. And what's the truth? Well, who knows? Though in fact, sources must regenerate after they're tapped. A day must pass before they can yield power again. That I do know, but okay. Interesting. But let's go. Perhaps we should attune our metal more to places of power because let's face it. We kinda... Oh, enough. that's another obelisk. Uh, you're afraid of this? Yeah, I would also be afraid of this wyvern. I'm kind of like, ye about it. But uh, yeah, I'm more concerned about the fact where the place of power is, but I'm not sure if I should draw from it, considering the way he talks, the druids are not too kind and fond of it. And, uh, well, we have several individuals named here. Let's talk to this lady. Gwynblade. Um... Gwynblade. What's that mean? White Wolf. You know me? Your name precedes you. You may know more than me. I remember nothing of my past. Some things are better forgotten. Nevertheless, I do feel sorry for you. Can you help? Sadly, no. Perhaps my sisters from Brokilon could help, but they are far away. I must say, this lady has a... <clears throat> Dress in a single vine. Yeah, that didn't, does not cover a darn thing. Oh well. Um. Tell me about Brokilon. Brokilon is the Dryad homeland, a wilderness untouched by humans. Those surrounding Brokilon wish to claim our forests, and thus humans and Dryads fight continuously along the borders. Who is winning? Our archers are matchless, but how long can we resist the brute force that rendered humans the world's rulers? So you agree with the elves and dwarves fighting for independence? Those children? They have long forgotten the struggle's meaning, craving blood and revenge, having only contempt for humans. They fail to see they begin to resemble the humans themselves. We merely defend our home, Gwynblade, and have no ambition of driving humans into the sea. Hmm. No good ambitions then, or good reasons then, I'm sorry. Um. Uh, why don't you reach a compromise with the humans? Ha! Huh. You treat concessions as weaknesses and believe acts of goodwill are traps. You will never accept our otherness. 
You treat consensus as a weakness and believe acts of goodness as traps. Oh, all right, well, what are you doing here, then? What are you doing here? It is a secret. Though I'm taking the chance to visit this grove of old, beautiful trees. All right. I also see a lot of wolves around here, but I don't think I should kill these wolves because I think I'm going to get really, really quickly killed by these druids. Tell me about your lives. Brokilon is our home, Ithlin, our lady. We live in harmony with the forest, flowing through the thickets and knowing the forest's secrets. Are you happy? Like humans, we have joys and sorrows, though our end is near. The war with the humans continues, and our numbers diminish. Oh, that is sad indeed. That's sad. All right, but she has nothing else to say, but just here are wolves, but I'm not gonna slay these wolves, I said, because I think that's kinda dumb. This is just a random druid. Where's the guy with the name? There you are. Welcome to the Druid's Grove, Traveler. Greetings. Marvelous place. I come here when I need to think, and the peacefulness helps clear my mind. Even a witcher is welcome here. One more word about my accepting my otherness and finding the home I never had and I'll cry like a baby. Sarcasm only serves to expose your inhibitions. Who? An elven psychoanalyst. I spent decades among humans. I find your kind as complicated as the schematics of a flail. Decades? Live that long among humans, you're bound to become more like them than you ever wanted to be. Are you speaking from experience, Monster Slayer? A sharp wit. I'm Geralt. My name's Yaven. Let's talk. Yes. Hmm. What can you tell me about your kind? What makes you elves tick? Hmm. Let us pray beneath the trees. For the trampled heather. For blood that has been shed. For fate that has been destroyed. I'm not sure I'm understanding this. For death inflicted by sword. For the pain of others, and our own. I'm looking for Witcher's work. Then I'll ask you a favor. I need a letter delivered to Vizima, where I'm not welcome. As a Witcher, you should find little difficulty tending to monsters on the way, and avoiding trouble with the guards at the city gates. Who's the letter to? I'd be obliged if you could deliver it to Vivaldi, a dwarf living in town, and then return his reply to me. I'll do it. I'm going to Vizima anyway. Thank you. I almost hope I can actually kind of like read the darn thing. Because uh, that dwarf is on our... Well, suspect list. Flowers and gold. I made a deal with a lumberjack. Is it a lower? That's the, the wrong one. That's the wrong one. A pilgrimage? No, what? Do we have it? Yeah, Yavin's letter. Dear Vivoli, I write to remind you that we once spoke of financial support for our cause. You claimed you would consider the matter once that we no longer have a repeat for the fire time. Either you are with us or with the humans. There's no alternative. This is your land challenge for a lifetime. I approach and nothing will stop. Oh, well then we kind of know that he is not with them yet. They want him on their side, but he is not with them yet. Interesting. So, uh, let's see here, because we kind of traveled... Wait, is this the end? Where is your chapel, man? Oh my. We passed it. Really? Really? We passed it. I thought it said that, uh, that it was an obelisk at first. Well, uh, alright. We're returning, Gramps. We're returning to the Shrine of Meditata. Uh, by the way, we now have not used the place of power. Which is somewhere around here. Is this the place of power? Oh, those are just wolves. What? Hilu? Where's the place of power? Perhaps I should have attuned... Uh, once again, I'm considering attuning my medallion to the magic places. I know you can do that instead of monsters. And let's face it, if monsters are surrounding us, I tend to see that anyways, because they're... And they come to you anyway. Blazer of powers are not going to walk up to you and say, uh, Yo! I'm here. Uh, I need to be careful where I walk. And I don't mean, like, that I'm gonna get, uh, Well... Bugged up with boots uh, with Drek, but more like... That I make sure that I bring this guy to where he needs to go! Um... So we kinda need to... 
track back a bit. I hope the monsters haven't respawned just yet. No new day has passed by. I am recording this just right after it, and I have not sit down by a campfire. By the way, another reason why I don't want anything to happen is because Swallow has ended. I think we need to cross into this point over here. Near the loggers, and then, yeah. Get the sword out. I don't think we've been here yet. And then we need to cross like this. Yep. Oh no, there's a lot of blue tigers there. I don't mind an individual one or two, but they together can deliver quite a lot of damage with their death throws. So I think I brought you to where you needed to go. The altar of Meditata. And I actually... Oh, that's uh, one of the obelisks. You! Grabs! Congratulations! Here we are. Thank you, son. I'm not your son. I like you. Visit me sometime. I'll show you my books, serve you some tea, and goulash. You're a witcher, yes? I'm another of your kind recently, but he lacked courtesy. He demanded to know about the Circle of Elements. Hmm. Another witcher? What can you tell me about him? Well, not much, son. He wanted about asking questions, and looking like one with a sour stomach. I'm not so interested in that. Yeah, I know, I know. He feared something, or someone. Spent most of his time near the pits where those village idiots burrow in clay. Thanks, Gramps. That helps. It does, actually. And I also see a place of power here. Um... Three women. This reminds me of something. There's an altar at the base. Alright, three women. This reminds me of something. Um... I wonder, I should probably gift something to this altar, but what? I have, like, no gifts for women anymore. Oh dear. Uh, when watchers, I may need your help, because I have no clue what that points to. Like, what it refers. He says it reminds me of something. I can't remember what that would be. Whoa! No, nope, we are doing the dodgy dodgy and moving away. Is this enough dodgy dodgy? I hope so. No, it's not. Now, what is this road? This is back to the clay pits. On the north side of it. Alright, uh, whoa, we have a lot of... Mm, I'm getting more and more and more of those, but that should not be too much of a problem. If we do this right. Alright, the plan is at least gone. And then for you, it's single style. Yo! Carol, attack please! Holy heck, you're nearly dead again! Free Islands, he says, is a new region. Uh, you know, that is not very descriptive. I'm sure there is something around here that I need later or something that you have named these regions all, but holy heck! Do I need a campfire? Um... I, I... You know what, I think I'm just gonna run back to the... where those... Uh, to a safe place. And I don't care which one of them is, but I think the close one nearby right now is the... Uh, Brickmaker stuff. And I'm going to... Yeah, because I kind of need to. Whoa! Uh, did everybody see that I'm double tapping and that he just didn't rule in order to uh, get out of the problems? Like, that wasn't just me, right? Oh, please, restore this vitality enough. What, what just happened? Can somebody explain that to me? Why did I uh, just... I don't know. I'm barely alive. So there's a plant over there that I can't really beat. Not at least with my current vitality. And then there's a plant on the other side that I can't beat with my current vitality. More or less, I'm stuck. Well, and uh, there's our blue tigers. I'm stuck. Um... Shit. Um... That is not good. 
<laughs> let's just, let's just, you know, let's just eat. Let, let, let's freaking eat a lot. Alright, so how much, for nine minutes we have vitality regeneration. Somebody tell me also in the comments that has played The Witcher. Does it actually mm, indeed help to eat free after one another, or is it like pointless to eat and free after one another? So I say we're going to go run. Run like a crazy little scared little witcher. Because this is not good. Okay, that plan didn't pop up this time. Good. I don't want to deal with it. I am really kind of terrified for my life here. Holy heck. Oh, well, we seem to be making it out alive. Alright, well that's good. But probably now as we take a rest, I wouldn't be surprised if everything gets restored. Like every creature gets put back into it. So now that we are gone here, yo. Yes? I'm looking for beggar tick blossoms. I know the plant. It usually grows in water, so search in water filled ditches. Okay. Big Man is only beggar tick flowers for its properties. Well, they, they want it for something. It's over there. And there's Graham's hut. Well, we need to go to him anyways. Kind of want to use make use of your campfire if I could. Could I do so? I would like that. I think I had to use my own stuff there. A little bit annoying, but oh, so be it. Do we have any signs? No, we have not leveled up. We, what we need to do, however, is alchemy. I need two potions of swallow, please. And meditate. Thank you. Yeah, covered in slime, howling like. Um, why is my potion count has gone down to f one? I made extra potions of swallow on purpose. Please, swallow. Oh, they have not combined. All right. Well, now we have five again. All right. That is just a dog. There is. A brick maker. Do we have actually a special kind of brick namer? Somebody that actually has a name or something? Oh, there's an old brick maker. Does that matter? Bop, bop, bop. Greetings. Bop, bop. Greeting, my lord. Greeting. What's with you? Well, not now, but when I six, a brick fell on me head. I was playing a game where you toss a brick in the air, counted five morans so the brick wouldn't bop you. Never was good at counting. They say the brick made me stupid. Burp, burp. Mm -hmm. If you need help getting somewhere, you come to the right place. See, eyes never get lost. Burp, burp, burp. Then this must be my lucky day. Tell me about the swamp. Burp, burp, burp. The swamp's wide and deep, with mosquitoes up your arse. Oh, they've been stinging lately. Who lives here? Living here, we got druids, brick makers, lumberjacks, monsters, and mosquitoes. That's who. Burp, burp, burp. Mm. Uh, buh, buh. What do you want to hear about? Actually, I kind of find your accent a little annoying. Don't do, uh. Don't want to be annoying, but we did find all the groups then. That's interesting. Did I hear you mention mosquitoes? Damn buzzing bloodsuckers. There's more of a year. You'll find that most by the tower. The tower? Oh. Yeah. If you go straight west and then south by the hut, you're sure to reach the Meiji's Tower. Buh, buh, buh. But shut. And there's nothing but blasted mosquitoes and some geelums there. Bah, bah, bah. No, that doesn't say there, that says T, but alright, uh, well, it says Tea, actually. Um, uh, Fermo! Oh, well. Actually, no, I want to know about the brickmakers. Sorry. 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 Hello? Yeah, thank you. Tell me about the brickmakers is us. Bah, 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 just there. Straight on and there's the village. That's where you'll find the elders who you need to oblige. We make bricks. Bah, bah, bah. Anything else you likes to know? No, no, you've been very helpful. Actually, I have the feeling that he's going to save the druids and they be the druids and they hug trees. I, I have the feeling that he, he, he doesn't will add a lot of intelligent conversation. Perhaps we find some. Oh, wait a second. I think I should have chosen the other hut because this hut it looks kind of generic and the other one has plans over it. So. That's a brickmaker, but that's a brickmaker's wife. Looking a lot better than he is. Uh, sorry, just gonna grab that. You didn't see that. I'm out. <laughs> 
Yeah, I uh, have no idea what was up with that, but, uh, well, this mm, hut looks a little different than the uh, average hut, so I'm gonna go here, and everything else is just uh, brick maker, so I don't think there's something special about them. And neither is about this hut, apparently. Oh, well, that's too bad. He said the elders, but I haven't seen an elder brick maker yet, I have just seen him as an old brick maker. Oh, I almost thought there was a new nosy dog. By the way, this is not a really good place to raise a child. But that may just be me. Um, There's a cat over here still. Which also seems extremely randomly placed. But, uh, yeah. Up north here. Take out my sword. Here's where the guy is with the assassin dagger. Iceland hot. Wow, I had to go deep in there. There we go. Here should Grams be. Wait, 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 wait. Wrong thing. Wrong thing. Gramps, you need to do some weeding. Holy, he just he just hit me for thirty damage with a ranged attack. I don't even want to know what his normal attack is at. Um, get out of here. Holy heck. I can't walk up this area. I can. But uh, this seems to be D hut. No, there's no door here. Oh, there is a door here, but oh, I thought I couldn't use it. Now I can't use it. Okay, I'm just conf I'm just rambling on and being a very confused dummy, so it seems. Um, there you are, Gramps. Hello. What do you want, Sam? Just looking around. If you must. Didn't you? I was supposed to come by you. I'm hungry again. I'm gonna puke. You said you had a bloody book, a book that we kind of need. So I'm just taking everything in your home there as payment. There you go. That's what we were looking for, I reckon. We have now one of the books, the book that was supposedly the most rarest. Funnily enough. I, uh, this block, book adds a location entry to the map. The ten names are Wisdom, Understanding, oh hey hello! The ten worldly elements, ten cornerstones, all emerge from these ten. Seeker, lift your eyes, search your paths as you shall find. He who knows your course holds wisdom and will share what they ask. Your heart in turn does not harbor love, but then watch, shows mercy and want to love, once blind. Now plunge into your mind, your memory. A golden fries over virgin mother old woman. Whoa, this is a lot of text. Um, the ten names are wisdom. It wouldn't surprise me because as he came to crown a victory, I need to visit those obelisks in the right order in order to finish up this quest. That is what uh, this kind of tells me. More or less, yeah, oh, luckily it also is actually in a quest item. So I kind of think I need to hold on for that for a while. Actually, we only have room for only one more quest item in our inventory, in our quest item inventory, so that's kind of interesting to note. Um, we, whoa, hello, ca camera, cam, I don't even want to walk here. I want to walk, I can't walk here. You cannot go below the, what the heck just happened? Okay, this is. Slightly weird. I cannot walk through under this beam in order to get to the right place. Uh, in that case, let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can handle this plant. Where is it? There you are. I... Ow. What? Okay, forget this. Forget this right now. Geralt, I told you to get out of here. Yeah, forget that. That plant is way too strong. Could I get the heck out of there? He is sometimes so slow to respond. And just makes a little hop and then thinks, yo, this is over. I'm going to die of poison, am I not? These plants are way too strong. Uh, hopefully the vitality... No, it doesn't. How long is the poison going to last? Poison dropped. Okay, we survived. 
Well, I guess I might need to end the episode here because I need to stand around and let my, uh, well, plus one vitality from my hero abilities raise me up. One of those plants is way too strong for me to deal with. I can't handle them. Like, I can't even handle a single version of them. So, I may need to skip past them or get back later to the swamp. Uh, it is currently, we have a currently a mission to go back. From the elves versus Vivaldi, for instance, and we have, uh, you know what, can I can I just make him drop into the ground at least? So that my uh, amulet doesn't go all, all crazy? Oh, I didn't set my amulet also to magical uh, places, that's kind of dumb. But uh, yeah, I'm going to end the episode, because I need to stand around and I need to wait until my vitality has regenerated by itself. Because we do have slow regeneration thanks to one of the bronze stones that I chose. And we seem to need it. I, I may have to use art in order to push it down, but even then, I have the feeling of that fills. The amount of damage it did it was incredible. It was really, really painful. So, I guess I will see you in the next episode. I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.